uh, Catherine Warren, but I go by Katie. Here is my little passport. Um, my major is Family, Youth, and Community Sciences. I also have a um, minor in leadership. Uh, I'm a senior, so this will be my last semester, hopefully. <laughs> And um, I was actually born in Birmingham, Alabama, but I grew up in Chiefland, Florida, which is just 45 minutes west of here. Um, so one of the places in my little passport here is Hausbach, Germany. And you see a little flower right there because uh, a main reason why I want to go there is because my childhood best friend and my current best friend's family is actually from over there. So I just thought it would be really cool to see where her mom grew up and where some of her sisters were born. And um, she all, every time she goes over there, she sends me pictures of fields covered in flowers. And um, the, another place I want to go is Sydney, Australia, because I um, saw a movie once and have just always wanted to go there ever since. I think it's beautiful over there. They have so much wildlife. Um, another one is Dublin, Ireland, and that is because that's where my um, family's ancestry stems from. So I thought it'd be cool. Um, they also have a street there that is covered in umbrellas and I've always wanted to walk down it. So that's why I have that here. Um, and then the fourth place that I wanna go is Nails Pruitt, South Africa. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But um, one of my dreams has always been to go on an African safari. Um, I love elephants. I actually have a little elephant candle holder right here. <laughs> um, and lions, and I just think that it would be amazing to go on an Af African safari. So I've always really wanted to do that. Um, now for the back, my three objectives are um, to learn how to turn my failures into successes because I'm really bad about being hard on myself when I make a mistake or when I don't succeed at something. So that's one thing I want to learn in this class. Um, the second one is to learn effective decision-making strategies in a group setting. So to be able to listen to everyone's different opinions and what they think that the group should do and then know how to steer everyone into making a decision to where everyone's happy and it has the most optimal outcome. Um, and the third is to effectively communicate with others because I think um, being a good leader entails having an open line of communication at all times. And I want to be able to learn how to do that effectively. But So that was my little passport.